welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I am going to the Palace Theatre to see the Osmonds A New Musical. Um, I am in the stalls, I'm sat on row D, I think it's seat 37. Uh, I paid £13 for my ticket because I managed to get a single seat ticket price. Uh, they did actually reduce all the tickets from on Monday to Thursday performances to £10. We have to have a special code. Um, but I couldn't go on any of them dates um, because my parents could watch the children. This was the only day I could go so I was really lucky to be able to get a single seat for £13. So I'm really excited to see it. I don't know too much about the Osmonds, I know a little bit. I can't remember all their songs so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, my parents went to see it on Wednesday and they, they enjoyed it so it should be a good show. So I'll do what I usually do, show you around the theatre, I'll show you any merch they've got, show you my seat, show you my view from my seat and then if we're allowed I will record the curtain call for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little vlog. So it's now 25 past. Six. My dad just gave me a lift to a tram stop. Well, it looks like there's seven minutes till next tram, so a bit of a wait, so I could have walked. Every day I see miserable people doing things they hate just to fit in. I know it's easier to get along peacefully, but have you ever thought about it? take 10 minutes, I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's about quarter to something. So I should get there plenty of time. Um, so yeah, we'll get back to now. So I'm just walking up to the theatre now. I think I might just cross over and take a picture before I head in. So it'll be busy later on. already open so might as well go in in fact I think I'm on the other side need to go this way Uh, 
bought myself a program which has five pounds and I also picked up a magnet and that was five pounds as well and it's about five minutes till the show starts so I'll let you know what I think of it in the interval. It's beautiful now, so far it's really good. I'm just gonna head back in now and I'll let you know what I thought when I get home.
tram station now. It's three minutes till the tram, so not too long to wait. The show was really good. Really enjoyed it. I'll talk more about it when I get there. This is a service to Alton. Hi, so I am now back from the show. It's quite a bit later because when I got home, the children were still awake, so I had to get them to bed. And they didn't go to be at sleep till midnight, so yeah, it is about 1am now. But I'm ready to sit down and talk about the show. I actually really enjoyed the show. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I was sat in the stalls, I was on row D, seat 37 um, and it was a really good view and I only paid £13 for that ticket uh, because they reduced all the single seat tickets to £13 so I got a really good view. I know um, early in the week, the week weekday performances, Monday to Thursday, they reduced all tickets to £10. But I couldn't go on those dates. I could only go on the Friday because it's the only day my parents are free to watch the children. So I was really lucky to be able to get a single seat ticket for cheap. Um, so yeah, I was really lucky with where I was sat. The view was excellent. Plenty of leg room. And I'd definitely sit in that seat again. So they had quite a bit of merch for this show. They had a magnet, which I did pick up. They actually had some today. A lot of the shows I go to end up selling out of magnets so I can never get them. Um, but yeah, managed to get a magnet for this show. Also picked up the house programme. That was £5 and the magnet was also £5. Um, but they had pens. I think they had pin badges. They had a sweatshirt, t-shirt. Uh, I think they had a water bottle. Um, yeah, quite a few things. Umbrella, I think they had as well. Uh, I did take a picture of the price list, so that probably would have been in the vlog. But yeah, they had quite a bit of merch. So I didn't know too much about the life and history of the Osmonds. I knew a few of their songs. Uh, my mum really likes the Osmonds. And yeah, so I knew a few of the songs. So I knew I was going to enjoy the songs. But I didn't really know much about them. And I knew that this show was about their life, a bit like Jersey Boys, how it tells the story of the band. This is very similar to that. It tells the story of the band. And the show was actually written by a member of the Osmonds. It was written by Jay Osmond, who actually was there at the theatre. I think he's been to every Manchester performance so far. Um, he sits in the box on the left-hand side. Um, he was there when my parents went as well. And he actually got up on stage at this show um, at the end and the crazy horse with the cast at the end um, for like the mega mix at the end he got up and did crazy horse and he went off and they uh, casted the rest of it so that was really nice to see him up on stage and um, there was a lot of Osman fans in that audience and they were going mad for Jay they absolutely loved him um, and yeah it's a Friday night as well so people were having a lot of drinks at the show and yeah one woman on my row was definitely a, had a bit too many to drink I think and she was standing up in the middle of songs at one point she tried to stand on her chair and got told to get down um, she kept shouting out stuff and yeah um, so it was an experience it's one of the reasons why I don't like to go to evening shows but yeah it was a bit rowdy tonight um, but they were, it was because they were, they were die, there was a lot of die-hard Osmond fans there, I think. Some people had little banners and stuff, so they were really having a nice time, which is nice to see. A few people had, like, special t-shirts, so, yeah, there was a lot of Osmond fans in the audience. So it was a good atmosphere. So, yeah, like I said, Jay, um, Jay Osmond wrote this musical. Um, so it is from his perspective of what happened during his childhood and through his, um, for his time in the in the Osmonds, um, so it starts off. The show starts off with when the children and works up its way to um, their um, reunion concert, which is in I think it was in two thousand seven, something like that. I can't quite remember. Um, so it's all through the like Jay's eyes, and one of the characters is Jay. He narrates the show, so he sort of narrates what's going on throughout the show. And the person playing Jay was so good. He was really, really good. Um, I can't remember what his name is. Let me just check. 
yeah, Alex Lodge, who played Jay, was really good. I mean, he was on the stage pretty much the whole show because he was narrating it and also singing all the songs and everything. So, yeah, he he was really, really good. So I do think the first half of the show was a little bit slow for me. It took me a while to get into it. Um, I think it's because it didn't have many songs that I knew in it. Um, and I just thought the story sort of was a bit slow to get started in the first half. Second half was amazing. All the good songs were in it. It got a bit more interesting, telling the story of how they lost them all the money and made it back again. So I really enjoyed learning a bit more of history about the Osmonds, where they came from. And yeah, I just, I just enjoyed the story. I thought it was good. And like I said, if you enjoy um, like the Jersey Boys, it's like a similar sort of musical to that whereas um it's the story of the band so when they do sing the songs it's them singing the songs as if they were at one of their concerts or when they were on their um tv shows uh, they don't sort of sing because um that they're feeling an emotion and they'll start singing it's more they were at a concert they were singing so they're singing um so that's how the songs are worked into the show but yeah, I really in enjoyed it. I definitely would recommend it, especially if you enjoy Osman's music. You will love this. You will definitely love this show. Uh, so like I said, I did pick up the program. So I will show you this now. Uh, show you the cast. The cast were actually, the cast were really good. Can't fault anyone in that cast. They're all really talented. Excellent singers, excellent performers. Um, there's a lot of children in this show. And they were so good. The children were really, really good. They had a lot of singing to do and like they were doing like a barbershop quartet, which apparently was what the Howlett Osmond started. And the children were so good. And yeah, just the whole cast in this show was excellent. Um, and I also loved the choreography, the dances that they had in it and the staging was very, very good. And one thing is probably the set. The set wasn't... It wasn't really a great set. They didn't really do much with it. Um, I think it's supposed to look like a sort of like a studio. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I would like maybe a bit more from the set. But other than that, everything was really, really good. It is a very good. It is a very good musical, and it is currently on tour. Um, I think it's tour until 2013. So there's still quite a lot of places to go. So if you would like to get tickets or see if the tour, see if they're coming to a uh, theatre near you, I will link the Osmonds website down below. You click on there, it lists all the places they're going to be touring to and I think you can buy tickets. It links you to the ticket sites for each theatre on there as well. Okay, so this is the programme and I've already had a little flick through this. And I have to say, they are putting less and less in these programmes. The last few uh, programmes I've had from ATG Theatre, it's literally just the cast list in it, and that's it. They used to always have some articles and some pictures, but no, this one is the same as the last couple. It is just the cast biographies, nothing else. So I'll show it you so you can see the cast and everything. Um, so, yeah, as usual... On the first page, it just tells you some of the shows that are coming to the theatre. tells you a bit about the Palace Theatre. This is like the only information. There's no information about the actual show in here, which I would have liked. Um, so, let's see. So, you go straight away. It is your cast biographies. So, Ryan Anderson's played Meryl Osmond. You had Jamie Chatterton as Alan Osmond, Alex Lodge as Jay Osmond. As I said, he was really good and he was literally on stage for the whole show because he was narrating it. Uh, I just thought he was excellent. Danny Natras as Wayne Osmond, Joseph Peacock as Donny Osmond. Again, he was really, really good, good as Donnie. I thought he was great. He had a really good voice as well. You had Georgia Lennon as Marie Osmond. She was really good. Um, she had a few, I think she was one solo song in it. 
paper roses which was really really good um, at one point though there was a bit of a problem with the mic during the song and it got an all crackly but yeah she still did really really well yeah Charlie Allen as George Osmond who is the father Nicola Bryan as Olive Osmond who was the mother and also the children's resident Alex Cardall as Andy Williams and Ensemble Stephanie McKenzie as Judy and Ensemble Aidan Harkins as Mike Kerb Ensemble and Dance Captain Katie Hards as Wendy Ensemble and Dance Captain Sophie Hurst as Wendy Ensemble Henry Firth Ensemble Lotus Lowry Ensemble Samuel Rotley uh, Mike Lloyd and Ensemble Tristan Winkup as Jimmy Osmond and Ensemble Matthew Ives was on stage swing Luke Hogan was on stage swing Jay Osborne was the actor, musician and lead guitar and Alex Hardford was actor, musician and rhythm guitar and then you've got your like, directors and then you have the child I'm not sure who was on for our show. I'll just give you a quick look through. So those are all the children that are in it and then this is your like cast list so this is the adult company got your understudies now I don't think any understudies are on for this show I couldn't see any um, signs up to say any understudies were on there were no announcements at the beginning so I'm assuming it was a full cast and no understudies um, but I'm not entirely sure. The young Osmonds. Now you got your production team. And stage manager stage management and technical team and your creative team. And then you've got your creatives. On these pages and then you've just got some adverts or producers on there as well music music credits so it lists all the songs that are in it and the credits I think the favorite songs for me that were in it was Love Me For A Reason, It Takes Two, um, I like One Way Tickets to Anywhere as well, Puppy Love is a good one, that's um, a Johnny song, so yeah, some great songs in this, and then you got your special thanks, and just your advert so like I said there's literally not a lot in it other than like the credits and the cast list that is it yeah they're definitely cutting back on what they put in the programs so yeah like I said I really enjoyed the show I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would and I definitely recommend it if you're a fan of the Osmonds you will love this 
Also, if you like the Jersey Boys style of musical, you'll probably enjoy this as well. So if you enjoy theatre vlogs, I do have a few more coming up. I have tickets for um, We Will Rock You in September. I'm planning on booking tickets to see um, Mrs Doubtfire in September or October. I'm also seeing um, Identical at the Lowry in a couple of weeks time. So yeah, quite a few shows coming up. So like I said, if you enjoy theatre vlogs, do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as those vlogs go up. So yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.